Wow. <laughs> oh, that is the most evil thing I've ever done. So I may have made the most evil deck in the history of Hearthstone because it combines the Demon Seed, probably one of the most hated cards ever in the history of the game, with a new card people love to hate, Impending Catastrophe and a bunch of imps. And the goal for this deck is to play a Blightborn Tamsin once you've completed the Demon Seed questline, summon a bunch of imps, and then draw 40 billion cards, roughly, with impending catastrophe, drawing yourself into and through fatigue, redirecting that fatigue damage into your opponent's face for some absolutely crazy burst damage potential. Now the good news is I don't think this deck is any sort of impending catastrophe that's about to be unleashed upon the meta. I do not think this will be a high tier deck. We went about 50-50 with it and the combo was frankly pretty rare. We often just won as a control deck or sometimes even as a quest line deck. But boy, when that combo goes off, it is absolutely evil and obscene as you're about to see. Okay, actually I like Tamsin so much. I think we can get... Ah. I love the random hero portrait, dude. I hate this portrait. I like that it showed up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, something about the pose of the, like him holding the staff. It's just, I don't know, it looks awkward to me. Like it's just, like it's just not a very like dramatic pose. He's just kind of standing there. And the staff looks kind of small. You know, maybe they wanted to fit it in the portrait. I don't know, but it just doesn't look like it's a very big staff. He's. <laughs> I hear it now. <laughs> I, I heard it there at the end. I got it at the end there, yeah. I got it. I see, I hear. I heard it. You can select favorites, yeah, but I just want to see them all. It's a pain to go click all your favorites, frankly. Well, probably not with hero purchase. It is with card backs, though, my god. It's like hundreds of card backs. Hundreds of card backs. Uh, all right, this should be fine. Uh, actually, what are we at here? We're gonna get two. That's fine. But summons a three, four. That's okay. Uh, I will tap to give them cards. Yeah, I'm fine with that. So this is a kidnap, which should be okay for us. Honestly, we, you know, for instance, entitled customers insane with kidnap. Really good. If we get that back, we're gonna be very excited. So step one done. Oh, dude, they always get they always get mid ah mid ah. It's already an insane shipment. What a terrible hand! I think we just throw some imps in because they're decent at, at reacting to the four six right. Like the the pingy on the shield sets up a better play here. Etc. Or here, frankly, but hand size a little big for here. Battlecry absolutely goes off for kidnap. Yeah, that's why it's not very good so far in my experience. That's cool, but it doesn't die, thankfully. It's nice. Could get some good value here. So hit, hit, uh, Rind, maybe? There is a chance I could burn both catastrophes in that case. Since I haven't yet. This is going to make a 3-4 probably if I cast a spell, right? So maybe we ought to drain soul this. It's kind of overkill though. I want a soul rend, but it will only summon after the soul rend. So if I want to kill the 3-4, I need to weave in like a touch. I Kidnap on the flame is kind of funny, by the way. I don't know, maybe we can still just customer and then just not play a spell here. I think that's also fine. Are you gonna clean that up? Kidnap me, bro. Thank you. There you saw the battle cry go off, by the way. No reform? Uh no reform. No, it's not really an imp deck so much. It's a quest deck with imps. Let's muddy the waters. Uh oh. Uh oh, oh, it's not too bad. Maybe, let's see. Freezing gives me time at least, right? 
Oh. Wow. Okay. That's actually a really good size shape for me. Cool. I'm gonna burn like half my deck though. Is that acceptable? To burn half my freaking deck. Maybe I ought to just do this. Instead. This burns a card, but you know, it doesn't burn half my cards. <laughs> I need a catastrophe in particular, I think, before I uh before I burn through my whole deck. Because if I burn both catastrophes, we do kind of limit our win condition a little bit. So burning one here wouldn't be a disaster necessarily, but you know, if I if I get both in that seven card soul rend, we're gonna be in trouble. Okay, so that's a trio of secrets, kidnap, three, four, and beyond. So we can start with a shadow boss here, take five, then just uh soul rends maybe. Circle isn't that bad to lose. It's a little annoying actually, but do we want to go for soul rend here? We burned two. I mean the odds of that being two catastrophes is pretty dang slim, but I want to put that three four in first, right? Oh, actually, we can just kidnap this guy again. I don't even need to. Oh, he's still three one. That's interesting. Yeah, makes sense. That's cool. Yeah, this is fine. We'll just kidnap him Are again. <laughs> I, I love it, dude. We just we're only playing one card. Kidnap is just giving me clear after clear here. It's great. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Aracon, dude. Thanks for the seventeen months, by the way. <laughs> So quest is not making rapid progress here, but we have a clean, a clean hit here. Is this stage two already? Oh yeah, we're actually, we're, we're doing better progress than I thought then, honestly. Ooh, the party crasher and Amita, wow. Frozen party crasher, that's not too big really. Okay, we got a catastrophe. Okay, that's good news, because now I can definitely be a little bit more casual with a soul rinse, I think. That is another sticky, right? So I should probably like drain soul here or maybe here. Probably here better. This drain soul doesn't feel particularly efficient without healing. Get the sticky up. Then we can soul rent again. Then flame imp. For next step of quest. Actually, we can tap first. Maybe hit an imp here would be nice. Nice. Okay. Double catastrophe is awesome with Tamsin. Yep. Okay. Next step of quest is done. We're also getting uh, bristlebacks online next turn, which is going to be some awesome healing. Okay. We do need to deal with the minions on board again as threats, but entitled customers should be pretty good there. So like customer bristleback to clean up anything that gets stuck would be fine, I think. Blood in the water. It's another solid target to clear. I mean, do I ever bristle back my own entitled customer just because I can? <laughs> like, just because I need some healing here. Uh, I don't know. I am actually running out of ways to damage myself a little bit, I just realized. Like, we have Imp and Bloodbounds but we're and, and Hellfires, but we are definitely getting a little low on, on ways to deal with our stuff. I'm not getting any younger. Are you going to clean that up? But I think 18 or 15 is, is fine for now, right? Let's just put more stuff out. I'd rather obviously use these against their things if I can. Um, I mean, eventually fatigue will be a, a possibility if we're desperate, right? But I would certainly rather do this before then if I can. So I need... Did they ever kill this guy? Probably, right? That's unfortunate because I kind of need him. So Hellfire puts me at six. I need an imp attack actually to get me another. Oh, maybe they're not gonna kill it. Oh, okay, sweet. They're going face. That's actually perfect for me. It's really good news. I mean, they might still, but hopefully they don't. Oh, they are. Never mind. Shoot! 
Yeah, I didn't get the other shadow blast, I guess, enough. It's Demon Seed is indeed way more fun when it's hipster. Yes, you absolutely understand my perspective perfectly. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad you see where I come from. All right, so they shadow step the crab. All right, that's a little scary. Far less excited about the second crab prospect here. <sighs> just not excited to use the bristlebacks in this case, right? They just don't do a lot for me now. I may have to bristleback one of my own minions here. I don't know. I mean, we know there's at least four damage incoming. Do they have another seven in hand reliably? So they're spinning four mana on Krabatoa. There's no Mr. Smite. Could certainly be a couple damage cards. You know, we wouldn't be shocked to see Wicked Stab or particularly the Poison 3 thing. I, I, I think I might have to, honestly. It feels so bad, but... I think I might just have to. Just running out of time to do it otherwise, maybe. But yeah, these last few points of damage are really tough to come by here, man. We don't have as many good. I need like a backfire, you know? <sighs> yeah, okay, there was a tooth, so that would have been a little extra damage. We would have had at least seven there. They would have needed to find a little more, but... Hey, who cares? What's up, man? Hey, Strifester with 13 months, by the way. Who's the cool guy that plays Hearthstone? Oh, that's, uh, that's Dexter. Who's the cool guy that's bad to the bone? Oh, that's Zeddy. Regis is the coolest streamer for sure. No, I think you, I think you made a huge mistake. 13 months, thanks, Strifester. That's really nice. So, I mean, Hellfire is a decent start if I could hit a, uh, touch. I guess Hellfire and Bristleback's okay, too. How am I doing this? Oh! Oh, yes! The skeleton's insane! The skeleton's gonna finish quest for me! Oh my god, that's insane. That's so insane, dude. The skeleton is gonna finish quest for me. That's so insane. <laughs> oh, I love it, dude. That's so sick. Wow. That's so sick. <sighs> okay. I think we always use this over Grainsel, right? Grainsel, I can combo with Tamsin. I won't really need Tamsin Catastrophe to win, I don't think, here. So let's just play the 3-3. Three, three. Good riffs, dude. Excellent, excellent shipment, too. Okay, this might be lethal next turn, right? I'm going to draw 10. I have... Five real cards, maybe? Four? One, two, three, four real cards in the deck. So I draw six. So six plus five is 11. Plus four is 15. Plus three is 18. Plus two is 20, 21. Oh, I don't think it's lethal yet. I need this to be a slightly larger imp. Oh, they did have wicked stabs too. Wow, we've just barely been hanging on here, it turns out. Okay, actually, if I go face, is it lethal? Drawing one naturally. I think that's four real draws. Oh god, it's really close. I don't know. Oh, oh, this is an imp! Oh, surely that's lethal, right? Surely that's lethal. It's 12 draws. That's gotta be lethal, right? If it's not, I think I might lose anyway, so let's just do it. I don't care. Especially with the three going face. I don't know. We're going to find out real fast. <laughs> I don't know. The, the the rifts help for the second shipment as well. Wow, I didn't even think about that. This, or the second catastrophe. That's sick. That's so sick. Dude. <laughs> That's nuts. Wow. <laughs> oh, that is the most evil thing I've ever done. For sure. Oh, I hate it, but I love it. I feel like in Warlocks, I have a... Like, I have a chance, you know what I mean? I have a a mechanism to, to win. I feel like those Druids, I often don't. Because of the kind of decks I play, right? Obviously, Druids can lose to, to aggro-y stuff, but I don't like playing the hyper-y, faster-y, aggro-y stuff as much. 
So the kind of decks I play just feel terminal against Druid, usually. Feels like if I'm playing a greedy deck, grindy deck, crazy deck, meme deck like this one, I just can't win. Within Hidden Pancake thanks to the four months, man. Guides you. Druid hero should be seven mana. Yeah. There is some tenuous balance uh, for sure with Guff where he won't be good enough. I don't, maybe seven mana is not that insane. Six definitely sounds better to my ear at first glance, but he's very good, so. Yeah, I don't know. It might not be too far off. Dude, what the heck is up with these, man? Sorind is really awkward against that 2 5. What'll wet your whistle? What'll wet your whistle? That's kind of cute. The muck dudes. All right. Is this still a soul rend or not? I could coin a touch and clean it up pretty easily as well, but that just doesn't feel very good to me. It always depends, but yeah, I think maybe. This feels so premature, but it's just not a lot of other things to do. We did lose one catastrophe, so we might need a uh, Tams in this game, which means we might need an extra turn post Tams in this game. All right, that's fine though. We can get through that. It's one of the better coin infestations I've seen. I feel like the infestation has felt a little weak this this game, or this this deck. I mean, I, I've always thought infestation looked weak. I got a lot of hate for saying this card was, was going to be weak. I'm trying my best over here. <laughs> Everybody gave me so much heat, though. <laughs> this card's insane, Regis! Let's wreak some it's insane, Regis. That was a good infestation turn for sure, though. Really nicely shaped a board for it. Even the value trade on the sh fish is nice. And it makes sense this deck, because we do want to have imps and removal together, so it definitely checks two boxes for this deck. Which I'm happy to see. It's kind of a holy pure paladin we're facing off against here. Seems like a pretty good unstable shadow blast, doesn't it? We aren't getting a ton of damage out of it, but I'm not tamsing it either, so I still have life taps as well. You think there's gonna be like a reckoning here or something? Reckoning, okay, sure, that's no big deal. Circle. Definitely finding uh, so far that circle feels far less valuable than uh, shipments, right? The circles are kind of expensive to play. Uh, that said, you know, again, if we go for a post quest line Tams in turn where we have, you know, more mana, if we had like full 10 mana, circle would work fine in that case. We'd have mana for circle basically, so should be okay. The good old buffet biggin. Is this a decent infestation again? Oh, yes, because they're not buffed. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's a really good infestation. Okay. We're kind of almost winning this game just on board right now. Kind of being just like an imp warlock a little bit. Mm, I'm gonna keep it alive. Who cares? A surprising little change of pace here. The infestations have just been so clean. Oh, that's clean too. Wow. Hit your minion a lot. Wait. He didn't hit his once, which I guess in theory, that's not that unlikely, is it? That's fine. <laughs> just annoyed that I didn't kill it, you know? <laughs> Whatever. Bloodbounds here are pretty nice if they live, dude. Let's try to make them live, right? So we got eight to go. We still have life tap, which is nice. I love this skin, by the way, dude. We thought her fingers looked crazy, though. Her fingers are bent back so much. Looks insane. I don't know how she does it. 
Absolutely crazy fingers. Whoa, Rag Light Lord, huh? Okay. Is this going to be active? I can make it active. Yeah, that'll be good. Give me those imps, dude. Uh, I think I care more about these being alive for the sake of advancing quest line, right? So let's hold. Not trade these in, I mean. Even one living here finishes quest line for me, so that's pretty good news. All right, we're in a good spot for quest line. Health still is looking okay against Paladin. Uh, I think I'll have time to play Tamsa next turn too, which is pretty cool. Seems nice. I don't think we have any sort of lethal quite yet with only the one catastrophe right now. Uh, do we like Hellfire better? No, I don't think so. Legally binding. Legally binding. I actually don't really know what I'm going to be doing with my turn here other than playing Tamsin and tapping. I mean, Tamsin Hellfire is... It's okay, I guess, right? It's not bad. I lose a life steal, but I gain this live, so I get to hit. I damage my Tamsin, but do more face damage this way, right? I think it's okay. It's another four damage, so it's pretty good, really. Okay, uh, again, I don't think we have a uh, lethal here without like Tamsin Row, maybe. I mean, you know, obviously on board currently is almost lethal, but um, maybe though we're close. Well, I, yeah, so I draw five. Yeah, so we're not really close yet. No, not quite. Need another solar end maybe first, but we're, we're chilling though in the, in the meantime, no real urgency felt right now. Just chilling, tapping, doing our thing. Shadow Blast and Hellfire could also almost be lethal in their own right. Oh, Hellfire is not lethal, but it's... This could still hit a lethal as well. Oh, it is lethal. Never mind. I'm dumb. Scratch that. Wow. Just one has a quest warlock. Forgot to account for tap. We won as a non-combo deck. I didn't actually expect that to happen. <laughs> felt pretty good um yeah interestingly i thought this deck was a meme but looking at the win rates they're they're really not too bad we've actually won quite a few games here well i might move on guys i got my cool combo game and i got one other kind of complimentary game to showcase what the deck looks like when it doesn't have the combo which i think is pretty important to see